Hello guys, this is the Ethan and Ethan Show, and today I'm going to be showing you how to port forward on an AT&T router, and um, what you're port forwarding is really whatever you're doing, uh, port forwarding Minecraft server, um, a website, whatever, and uh, we're just going to do that here. So, um, open up your web browser and we're going to go to attlocal.net and you'll see here that it's not working for me now chances are it'll work for you but in my case it doesn't and um, for any of you that know what I think I set my DNS that way that's how it is anyways we're gonna go to um, go to the uh, search window on Windows or just uh, Windows key and R we're going to go to CMD. And we're going to type ipconfig. And we're going to scroll up here. And um, here's our Ethernet adapter. And on if you're on Wi-Fi, you know, you'll, you'll say Wi-Fi. But um, I'm on Ethernet. So our default gateway right here. You see this? Control C and Control V. And um, this one will work for us. So, once you're on this page, you're going to click Customize Firewall. And since we're, in this case, going to port forward a Minecraft server, let's go ahead and add a new user-defined application. And we're going to call this one Minecraft. And we're going to add the ports 25565, um, a range, this is what this is, from 25565 to 25565, since we're not, we don't have to forward a range of ports. And um, in our case, Minecraft servers need TCP and UDP protocols and port forwarded. So we're going to add that one to the list. And um, we're going to get our access code from the side of the router. Uh, which is, you know, where your internet comes from. And uh, it'll be on the side of the router. It'll say what your access code is. And you'll punch that into here and submit it. And this is just a security feature. And make sure you're not, you know, some random person doing this. Um, and since uh, Minecraft uh, needs UDP, we're going to add the UDP protocol to the application. So we're going to add 25565 UDP to the list as well. And as you can see here, we have a definition list at the bottom and this says TCP and UDP and 25565, 25565. All right. So after we have done that, we're going to go back And this is where we're going to tell it what computer um, needs this port open. So, this is either a computer that is maybe not your main computer, maybe it's just like a server computer or whatever. But, here you can go to that computer. Or, well first, you just find it on this list. Chances are you'll find it on this list. Here's my PC, Gibson PC. But... If you can't find this, if you can't find your computer on the list, don't worry. If you go back to the IP config window you have, or you open up that window on your other computer or whatever, whatever, if you go to that computer or the computer you're hosting the server on, and you uh, go to IP config again, you'll find the IPv4 address. And we were just we are just going to copy that, because that's what that, that's what we need. It's how it knows what computer you want to port forward it on. So, we have entered that, and so we are going to find Minecraft on the list, and uh, it'll be on this little list right here. You scroll down and find Minecraft. We have added that to the list earlier, and you're just going to click on the Add button.
and uh, here our configuration is successful. So now that we have port forwarded it um, successfully, it seems, you're going to go to what's my IP dot word and your IP address is and it's going to be numbers and that's what you want to give your friends or whoever um, you want to give them this number and that's how they will join your server um, as, while you're hosting it so I hope this video helped you uh, questions, comments, concerns down below in the comment section. And um, I hope you all have a nice day. See ya.